guys, Sam back with you here Wednesday, August 29th. We're oh, middle of the day here trying to get uh, multiple multiple videos done for you. We, we did the polling over on, or on Twitter today and uh, we, the voting was so close we ended up with oh, all, it was three or four all very close together. So I'm going to try and do the best I can to get all of them now. Th this is Ripple to the dollar. Interestingly, everything today was requested against the dollar rather than Bitcoin. So th this, boy, this is this is a bear of account. So here, this is Ripple to the dollar on Bitstamp. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm sure there are probably multiple ways to count this here, but this this is what I'm working with as my primary account. Th this is this is definitely a difficult one because we have anomalies here where we get outside of gu guideline parameters. So it becomes a question of what what do you do with that. So as, as I have it here coming off of this, this high up here at what are we, 331. But it's very, very tricky to get to because there's multiple ways you could trade this, but I, 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 or play this or count it, I should say. I have us coming down here and completing a five wave here. So one, two, <clears throat> down for the three, it's, you know, it's, it's extreme here. So if I take the length of the one, and I project from the from the two. The reason I'm leaning into that is look where we go. Highest probability zone between the one six one eight one seven five. So I lean into that immediately as a candidate for my third. So if that's three, well this has to be four, and then I get plenty of subdivision here to give me a, a clean one two three four five. Leads. Oh, it can either be a one wave or an A wave. Well, on the assumption that this is all corrective. I, I'm leaning into the A wave here. So means we, we have to allow for a shallow B. And not only that, it looks to me like we get a truncation here in the B, in the in the C of the B. So I have us going A, B, and then one, two, three, four, five. We don't get a we, we don't get a new high here. So we get a truncated C wave in the B, this given this this kind of a crazy wick here. I think that plays better because then coming down here, I get a very clear five wave structure to complete the C relative to the A, B, C. So that would give me my first W. Then I've got to allow for a very shallow X wave. But no matter how you count this, you're going to have to allow for some anomaly because of the, there's either it's a shallow B wave or a shallow X wave or you're uh, forcing a count. Per what I see here is, so we have the, the very large A wave, shallow B, clean C. I lean into that here. So now we've got to, let me, I got to open this up here. So from this, if we allow for that, does the rest of it play? Well, if that's a W here, well, again, here, I've got a little bit of a, a some difficulty here. So I'd have to go A, B, C into this X wave here. And again, it's a shallow X. But then now coming down from that, that is the deepest retracement that I get. And it's also, let me get this off the screen so we can see it. So you, your first question is, well, is that a technical pivot? Well, here it's a little bit of a, you, you got to sort of experiment. So if we take the highest pivot from, from down to our low here, even that we're getting a tick through the 65. So it's not perfect. So then you think, well, could they have used something further back? Well, could they have used this? Possibly. Now we're at 50, 50, 50. Interestingly, that would put us was potentially here a slight front run on the on the on the algo target. Could that be what they're using? Well, it's very hard to tell. If they use this, well, that would imply then. So then, the, if if the break of the 65, if they reversed, then that would imply that swing low to swing high. Here they would have been stopped out here at the 65 meaning as we come down here then they'd been stopped out here so now they'd be now they flipped again so that would be two stops in a row stopped out by a tick on either side of the 65 meaning they'd then be looking for the next 50 coming down and even that we still we, it's very hard to get a 50 here so if i take it from the absolute high here we only get a 38 but we do get to target. In fact, they've got every second target. So it's really a tough call to try and get a handle on what the algos did here on this larger time frame. So here, if we allow for this here, and you know, it's just there's just no way to know here. So if if if, if we allow for the idea that they stayed short, well, we've got to target, right? So it's a, it's just problematic no matter how you slice it. It's just been Ripple's been very hard to trade. 
But if we just if we go back to our Elliott count and think, all right, well, pff, the algos are kind of confusing here. Well, does it fit with an, with an Elliott count? Well, if this is a W, and we're going to allow for the X wave. Well, then here, I can't, I can't ignore this here. So I, it looks like I go 1 ABC into a 2, 3, 4. And now we've had an extension, potentially a pretty substantial extension here in the 5th. So counting it out, right, this is, this is difficult, and it's just the work you've got to do to try and get a, a clean handle on whether or not we have a good technical pivot here to support potentially, now as we've reached the algo targets down here, potentially are we starting a new trend or are we just in the process of another corrective wave here before we go down again lower? And you know, keep in mind, we've got to keep track of where zero is. Again, as I've shown you before, it's very hard to get the line right on zero. So you just, ah, there it is, I got it. So there's zero right here. So second algo target being below zero. So, you know, just keep, keep that in mind. So if this is one, two, if we're coming from the X wave, if that's our WX and we're coming one, two, three, four, well, could this be A, B, and now we're finishing C? It's so if from, from the X, we're trying to finish in an A, B, C. So, you know, d does it play here? Can we go A, B, C, All right? So let me get that degree up. Uh, let's see, where, let's get, you know, there's, oh, I forgot my C here. A, if that's A, B, C down here, let me get that degree up. Oh, let's go to Minuet. Let's see if that would make sense, right? So the, the it's a challenge coming down because we get a one, two, looks like three, four, and then I get very good subdivision down here, actually. So that would be, so this would be our, our A wave here. So let's start it up here at the X wave. So this potentially would be an A wave. Then we'd have to have the B coming here. So we'd have to go A, B, and then we, we're finishing finishing in a C wave down here, looking for this to complete and give us our Y wave here. Boy, it's a tough one here. One, two, three, four, five, we finish with an A wave, all right? So then we have to allow for a very shallow B yet again, just as we did previously. We've had to allow for these anomalies here, these non-traditional ranges of retracement here to get to, to accommodate this count. I, it's, I've gone back and forth with multiple variations of this. I th this is what plays the most cleanly, I believe, here, having looked at a, a number of alternates. So from the X, one, two, three, four, clean five gives me my A wave, right? So from that X, there's my A wave, then, but then I have to allow for this very shallow B. So what do you do with that? Well, until proven otherwise, I, I've, I've got to allow for it here. So it's very very atypical for the B to be that shallow, yet, you know, again, I can't, there's, I can't, I, I've got a clear five here in my third, so I get a one, two, three, there's my deepest retracement, we don't challenge the one, so it looks like I finish with a, with an impulsive move off of the X, can't, can't discount any of that, it's a clean three, here's the big impulsive move, there's my A, B, C, and then my four, one, two, three, four, finish, I've got one, two, three, four, five into the five, subdivision all the way down, so that's completing something. So I've got it as an A, then we go A, B, C into my B, and it looks like possibly, right? So here's what, if it's gonna be complete down here, we've gotta allow for the C. So that means that the five, this, this is the five of the five of the C of the Y, whoops, God, of the Y. Right, so that so if that's going to be our low, so well that fits with the fact that we've hit this algo target, but look at the boy the symmetry between the the length of the A wave from the B to the C. Is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. So now it becomes a question of here is this one two is this the three? So I have it as three four coming down into a five to finish here to accommodate this algo target. It remains to be seen here as to whether or not this is going to go into a motive wave. But I, this, I don't love that symmetry. So if you back the whole thing out and look at it, yeah, it would it work. I mean, it, it works, right? It's not ideal, but it, that the the shallow C, given the shallowness of the the retracement in the B, it's a contender. Let's put it that way. All right, let's go down to a to a thirty minute and see if we can make sense of what's happening here. So if if we allow for this, let me pull this off it, on the idea that we've completed down here. So we'd have one, so coming from that from that C, right? So here's the A, the B, and you can see the one, two, three, four, five into our C, right? So here's the A, B, the C of the, 
of the B of the larger degree. All right, so then we'd go one, two. All right, well, we got to measure. Right? So hey, let's take the length of the one projected from the, even if I take the pivot here. So if I pull this over here where I'm, again, I'm using wave ratios. Let me get that right on there. Have that? Yeah, okay. So here's we're a couple of ticks in front of the 1618. That's why I lean into that as my third here. All right, and then I get a little triangle here, contender for the four. Yeah, that's a very, you know, we might have an A, B, C, D, E into that into that four. Hard to say what we end up with there. Could be here, could be one, two, three, four, five. So we've got subdivision here from the four, whether it's A, B, C, D. We'd have A, B, C, D, E. So the four would be here. Then we'd finish one, two, three, four, five coming down. That's a contender. Well, so the alternate would be <clears throat> that this were just going to go A, B, C, and then uh, and then on a larger degree, the four would be over here. The five still yet to come. This would be the three, right? So now we're now we'd be pushing relative to the one, two, uh, you know, to an extreme. So it's we're not out of alignment here. So this would be A, B, C going in here for the four, meaning one more push down, all of this goes lower. That's certainly possible here. Right now I'm sticking with this as, as my contender here, given this good three, a little triangle for my four seems to play fairly well. Then I've got all the subdivision down here. So on the idea that this is a contender here, a candidate, nothing more than a candidate for my pivot, of my complete correction here. Well, then I've got to get a motive wave coming here. So let's see if that's even possible, right? Because we're aware of the possibility that all I've done here is just put in an A, B, and some sort of a C is going in. So acknowledging that that's, that's a contender. Well, let's, let's, let's look into this. So let me zoom into this here and we can see if this, this makes sense. <clears throat> Well, I wicked this off as a candidate for a one wave here. So coming off of this low, I prefer this as one, two, three, four, five. So let me get that down a degree. We go sub micro here. So that seems to play better to me as a as a completed one wave. One, two, here's the three, A, B, C into the four. That gives me my five of my one. Well, on the assumption that I've got this right, Right, big assumption, but we'll we'll see. So I can take some of this off. All right, so that would mean on the one degree higher, I'd be trading this as one, two, potentially three, some sort of what well, it looks like it's a WXY into a into a four, and we're trying to go up for our five. Okay, well let's see. Well, let me get that. Let's change the color here. Let's go to white here, and we'll go up a degree. We'll go to <clears throat> sub minuet. Okay, so that's a contender. So possibly. All right, well, let's measure it. All right, so let's let's take the length of the proposed one. Get right on there. Down to my two. Where have we gone for the three? All right, where's the highest probability zone for a three? Between the 1618 and the 175. All right, that's why I'm leaning into that as my third. So one, two, impulsive three, right where I'm looking for it. Well, it looks like I go A, B, C into a W, X, Y. Well, let's see. So we'd have to trade it this way. So this this would have to be W, X, Y because we've got two A, B, C's. So we'd be going W, X, boy, A, B, C, Y here. So tricky one. That would be W, X, Y into my four here. So we've got a complex correction here, A, B, C down for that. So we don't threaten the one. You know, is it is it technical for that potentially as a pivot? Well, we can certainly look here and say, well, with two things. We can tr pull from the two to the three high. What have we done? Well, right to the golden zone. So that makes you think, right? So that is my key. So golden zone, 618, golden zone, right? So clearly this level has been important to the market. They, they're defending here repeatedly. So would that potentially play? Well, it, it means we have to accommodate for some sort of a one, jeez, one, oh boy, that's not, I can't even get it out of there. Some, is there a one wave in there? Maybe there's a, there's, oh shit, boy, that's tough. Can I get a, a one, boy, I can't even get it out of that. Can I get a one wave in that? I can't because this would have to be the two because that's the pivot. So I can get A, B, C, one, two. So I'd have to trade it this way. So we'd have to, coming off of that four, we'd have to be looking for an ending diagonal. So I'd have one, two, one, two, three, four, four. So there's something like this going in. 
So that's the way we'd have to allow for that. This being my four, so I've got an A, B, C into a one. So we we're, we need this if this is going to come as a three. So if this is the two, if it's going to be a diagonal, this has to come down. That four has to overlap my one. So if I've got this right, and I'm not sure that I do. So if that's my one, it could be A, B, C. So one of these, let's see here. Let's go down to a 15 minute. This is a tricky one. So here, here's the first reaction off of it. God, that is brutal. Let's see if we can get, get a count in here. So coming, that's the big reaction. Boy, that's that's a dig here. So, boy, even that that is, boy, that, boy, that that just feels like a force fit. I can barely dig that out of there. One. Oof. That's so. This would be one. Two, boy, I can't. So I'm gonna pull that off. But if I, if I have to work that hard for it. I'm going to wait and get more information. So best case here, this would have to be this way. So we'd have to have A, B, C, potentially. Let me lower that degree. Let's go sub micro here. So potentially now, this would be my one wave here. So we'd have to, so we're anticipating now, the only way I could trade that as an A, B, C is to have one A, B, C into a two. So we'd be looking for A, B, C into a three, four, five. Let's get those over to the side here just as placeholders. All right, so that's that's a tough one. So that would be our one wave here. So let me get this up here. So then we'd be going A, B. This would have to be my three. Four going in, but four's got to overlap. So five would be up here. So this would have to trade now as A, B, and so C still yet to come to give me my four. So we've got to overlap by, it doesn't have to be much, could be just a tick. But if that's going to stay as a diagonal, all right, well, let's scrunch it back up. What are we looking for? So if we're in a diagonal, we're looking for a relationship between, if, if I've got this right, and this is, until we get more information, this is, this is a tricky one. So if that's A, B, C into 1, 2. All right, let's think about it. So if that's, if from my, my low here, if that's into my one wave here, if I've got that right, well, what do we do for the 2? Right to the golden zone. All right, so that A, B, C into a golden zone, to and through targets, we've gone up all the way to third target. We know that's a 1618 proxy, so we can think one, two, so that plays. So that's, we'd be anticipating a relationship between the length of the one projected through the pivot of the three. So let me scrunch up here a little bit. So from this low through this pivot, here's where we're looking for it, and we need to overlap here. So from that pivot low, here at the start of it through the three high ooh, interesting so very common in a diagonal would be for the four to come in at the 60 but we've got to get a little bit beyond that so we do have a little bit of a low volume node here you can see this so we've got to go a b c so let's think about that so if this is a wave projected from the b so common for a diagonal would be one two seven two this wouldn't get us there we'd have to recount it and boy, getting five out of that, very difficult because this, any you might be looking one, two, but this is the lowest low here. So this has to be either the B or the two. I said, yeah, I, I, I think until proven otherwise, I would stay with this count and tr instead of trying to go into sort of some one, a one, two, one, two. That's, a, that's possible, that's possible, but I'd rather see how this plays out down here. If I can get this to qualify here by the overlap here as the one, I'd be more inclined to anticipate that I've got a diagonal in play there. So that would mean my would, would propose that my fifth target up here for my one, assuming I get this. So if we're gonna come down, uh, that's not what I want, I want this. So if we're gonna come down, in get that overlap, then go up here, that would give me what I need for my diagonal for one, two, this would have to be A, B, C into my three, A, B, C, get the overlap, there's my four, and then we go up for the five. Now I've got a one wave, so now I pulled that out. Let's go back out. Oh, let's try the one hour, <clears throat> see if that fits. Well, it would get us there, so we, so even if we, come here, even if we do, whether we do it here, we'd have a truncation, or we go up here to get Maybe we're going second target. 
nothing nothing's clean here we need to get maybe we get the larger degree right so here's the dominant swing right here as we go golden zone here's that target here this could get relabeled no question about it this is very just this chop you know you're trying to get probability zones here in a in a low probability choppy chop session you know as my partner Quan will say you know how do you draw a probability zone when you can't get clear on where you are it's so my suggestion would be let it let let the market reveal itself. So right now we have a contender here for this diagonal to finish this fifth, but it's going to require market's going to have to accommodate that count. So we'll see if that happens, right? It wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if we got this overlap here, but then we're going to need to get a big push up here to get to at least challenge this. This would mean truncation in the fifth. You know, don't love that, right? That's not what you, you, you don't want to lay out a roadmap anticipating that you're going to get an anomaly here. So we'd have a truncation in the fifth with, with this, after all of this chop, I'd want to see something more substantial here to tell me that I've got a good solid motive wave. So the, the, at the end of all that, unless you're willing to be a buyer here at this, with, with this slight variation, I, my suggestion would be, I, no, I'm not in ripple to the dollar. So my suggestion would be just wait, let this thing reveal itself. If this is going to be a good solid one wave, if we're coming off of here and this is going to be the one, well, there's going to be a two, three, four, and five. So no, no need to get caught into the FOMO and trying to ride it from 33 cents to 40 cents. Let the thing reveal itself so that you have confidence in this pivot because this is still suspect to the idea that there may be one more push going down because of everything we worked through getting to this pivot. You know, this, this, the length of time that's happening here, the chop, the lack of this getting impulsive, this is the only thing that leans into the idea that we've got a good motive wave underway because I got a one, two, and I got a perfectly targeted third, but now this long drift sideways you know, it's possible. It wouldn't be the craziest thing I'd ever seen, but I, I would certainly want to see at least second target here. I'd want to see us get get distance from this pivot here, so I know I've got a good one in, and then I just sit patiently and wait for the one A B C into the two to try and get the three. That's how I would trade that if I'm sitting here waiting for this to to resolve. Why? 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 There's too many other trades that are cleaner. Why? Why try and force something? Now, if you're in currently. You know, you're riding it out anyway. You've ridden it down from three bucks to what do we get to here? Twenty-five cents. All right, you're long-term holder at this point if you're still in it, so you, you don't have a lot to lose here. I, w I certainly wouldn't be looking to add off of this. Why? Why? Why would you? You don't need to, right? You're already if, likely if you're if you're still long here. Perhaps you're underwater, so why why make a situation worse? Let this thing resolve. Get clarity. Get validation on that being a good pivot because right now it's too too many ways this could go. That's my view here. So there's uh, no, that's that's probably long enough. That 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 is a very difficult count, no question about it. So you know the other alternative is you know, why trade Ripple unless you're in it? Why be forcing? Why be trying to dig out a trade there? Yeah, my view. Anyway, there's a, there's a, a break there. So. Yeah, we doing here? I'm, how am I doing on top? I'm gonna, we did have one other contender here. I was going to try and get to here. I'm not sure I'm going to get it done today. If not, we can we can always look at it later in the week. So with that, I'll wrap here. Uh, as always, give us a follow over on Twitter. That's so today being a good, good example, right? We picked these the the three that I've done so far came from a Twitter poll. So if you're if that interests you and you like you have a particular coin that uh, you'd like to see analyzed in video, that's a good way to interact with us. Of course, if you're a member, you can always put a request in. And uh, just a reminder, we've just recently launched our affiliate program. So if you're into crypto and you know how to do affiliate marketing, the that's a pretty generous affiliate program. So keep that in mind as a contender as well. And uh, you can always uh, find out more about what we're offering over on our, our website at TradeDevils.com. All right, guys, that'll be it.